Flexion distraction injury of the lumbar spine. Sometimes it is called seat belt injury or a chance fracture. Usually, the patient is a restrained back seat passenger involved in a car accident and the person is wearing only a lab seat belt. The chance fracture is a variant of the flexion distraction injury. The terminology is sometimes confusing, but a chance fracture could indicate a bony injury. It may present itself with a minimal compression fracture of the vertebral body. However, in this case, all three columns of the spine are injured from distraction and tension. When you deal with a traumatic compression fracture in a young patient that's involved in a car accident, rule out a seat belt injury, rule out chance fracture. This condition can be misdiagnosed or not diagnosed. Bowel trauma occurs in these cases due to crushing of the bowel between the lab seat belt and the spinal column which result in devascularization and acute bowel rupture. Infliction distraction injury will be an anterior wedge fracture of the vertebral body plus horizontal fracture of the posterior elements or distraction of the facet and the spinous processes. If unrecognized, it may lead to progressive kyphosis with pain and deformity. This injury usually occurs in the thoracolumbar junction or in the mid-lumbar area. The posterior column fails first because of the axis of rotation is anterior to the vertebral body. Deflection distraction injury is unstable inflection and usually needs surgery to restore the disrupted tension band and prevent progressive deficit and pain and to enhance the functional recovery of the patient. In patients with flexion distraction injury of the lumbar spine, up to 50% of the patients have associated potential life-threatening injuries such as visceral and gastrointestinal injury. Look for transabdominal ecchymosis. You probably will need a general surgeon consultation. This condition occurs more in children. The hallmark of this injury is the axial split of the pedicle, which is seen on sagittal CT scan. There will be little comminution, and since the center of rotation is the anterior longitudinal ligament, the posterior ligaments will be disrupted, or the posterior neural arch is fractured transversely. Flexion distraction injury or seat belt injury can be purely bony, purely ligamentous, or mixed. The purely bony injury heals better. The treatment of flexion distraction injury, especially if the injury is ligamentous, is usually a posterior reconstruction of the tension band part of the spine with short segment fusion with instrumentation. Ligamentous injuries of the spine do not heal. It needs to be fused. The bony chance fracture can be stable in extension and the fracture can heal. The fracture could heal, but the fracture probably will need long-term follow-up. The fracture can be treated in a TLSO brace and watch the fracture for the development of kyphosis. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.